I mean, I think people often have a perception that music therapy is like you squirt music at people and it calms them down, <laughs> which is not at all. Oh, it's not. <laughs> There's research that proves that the act of creating music together can be really intimate and it's a really trusting space as well. You know, for some young people it's actually just the motivation of leaving the house to come and actually do an activity is an achievement to get them, break them away from just being on their own. We don't have that kind of formal psychological intervention. But we believe passionately that playing music and creating music is therapeutic in its own right. I try to get people engaged in making music and being musically active. You get them being melodic and singing a song that, you know, Robbie Williams' Angels, you know, and through it, oh, that bit, everyone goes, yes. It's interesting we actually use the same Robbie Williams song for our community <laughs> choir. So there's got to Shall be... Shall we all Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never particularly been musically talented, but does that matter? You don't have to know how to play an instrument. I think everyone has an element of musicality to themselves. Like thinking about the way that we speak, we all pitch our voices. I have examples of work I do, people who are sectioned in hospital, but you start playing music with them and it's entirely evident that they can. I think it comes down to the actual teachers as well. Some of the teachers come and they're just so inspiring. You can see how they've inspired the young people to create bands and do stuff. I, mean, I remember sitting in a music GCSE class and the music teacher put on Exeter's by Bob Marley really loud on this big sound system within the room. It's like, whoa. We shouldn't be seeing this as something like something we prescribe when someone gets ill. Yeah. This should yeah. be like a part of people's just access to normal culture in everyday life. The first ever jam session I went to, and I'd always been classical, I'd always read music, and there's a very charismatic guy that was from this session, and he just said, play. It doesn't matter what you play, it doesn't matter what comes out, it doesn't matter what it sounds like, just play what you want to build.